to you then, Mike. Thanks. And because of all the wind fences across the region are toppling over, many of them now need to be repaired. Ryan Canada is live on Kimway in Sparks, where there's been a few examples of this type of damage. Ryan? Yeah, Landon, on this street, there are three homes, one right here behind me, one that's just two houses down and another at the end of the block where the fences have just toppled over. Now, obviously, this kind of damage can be frustrating and really a, a nuisance for residents. But for some businesses, this can mean some pretty good business, especially for a couple local contractors. You can't, you can't salvage these. Even if you had good boards there, by the time you take all the nails out and see which ones are good, you might as well buy new ones because it's a lot less expensive than trying to take them apart. The wind causing fences to topple over has obviously been a nuisance for some people lately. But for Rick Grabianowski, this kind of damage is important for his livelihood. This last two days, probably at least 20 calls. The local contractor has been responding to calls and writing estimates for customers as far away as Stead and as close as his very own neighborhood in Sparks. Right across from where I live, there's right within six houses, there's three fences that came down. What he's finding is that older wooden fences are snapping from the strong winds. Some are falling over because the posts are rotting in the ground. He says others likely weren't installed properly the first time around. If a fence comes down, this is brand new and the panels are, are perfect, then we put the posts in and put it in. However, uh, if in most cases, we put the posts in and we rebuild the fence. Joe Mattis is taking a bit of a different approach on this fence that he repaired Wednesday morning. Instead of replacing the whole fence, uh, I used a uh, steel bar here, went down in the ground, uh, put 60 pounds of concrete in it, screwed it into the post, and it is solid as a rock. Much like Rick, Joe has also seen many fences down across town, saying there's a lot of work that still needs to be done by he and his fellow contractors. In order to prevent any more fences from blowing over, he says people should be proactive. Looking for loose posts before a fence comes down can save you time and money. And it's not just fences that are being affected by this wind damage. We talked to a roofing company, a roofing repair company over the phone, who said that they were simply so busy giving quotes out to customers today that they didn't even have time to talk to us on camera. Covering Stormwatch Live, Ryan Canaday, 2 News. Ryan, thanks.